So here we have two parts of motion. Um, so to find the average velocity for part A, this would be equal to the change in displacement in the x direction with respect to time. This would be equaling to delta x sub 1 plus delta x sub 2 for the two parts of motion divided by delta t sub 1 plus delta t sub 2. So we can then say that for the first part of motion, for part A, the displacement delta x sub 1 is equaling 40 kilometers. Now, the time taken would essentially be t sub 1, or delta t sub 1, and this would be equaling to 40 kilometers, and then we're traveling at 30 kilometers per hour. So this is equaling 1.33 hours. And then we have delta t sub 2. This would be equaling to 40 kilometers. However, now we're traveling at 60 kilometers per hour. And so this is giving us 0.67 hours. And so we can say that then, again, for part A, the average velocity is going to be equaling to, again, delta x divided by delta t. So this would be equaling to 80 kilometers divided by 2 hours, giving us 40 kilometers per hour. So this would be our answer for part A. For part B, then, we know that in this case, the average speed is the same as the magnitude of the average velocity. So we can say that the average speed is, in this case, equaling the average velocity. And in this case, this would be, again, 40 kilometers per hour. And we can say for part C, the question is asking us to graph, and we can say, graph x versus t and then indicate indicate how the average velocity is found. So for part c, we can say that delta x would be on our y-axis in kilometers. On our x-axis, we would have delta t. This would be in hours. And we have 80, 60, 40, 20. And we can say half hour, one hour, one and a half, two hours. So we can say that at 1.33 hours, if this was 0.5, 1, 1.5, and 2, at 1.33 hours, which would be approximately here, we're at 40 kilometers. And then at two hours, we're at 80 kilometers. So this would be the path. And then to find the average velocity, it'll simply be taking this slope, the secant slope between the origin and our final position. So the slope of that graph is going to be 40, or in this case, 40 kilometers per hour. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.